Uh, let's cross over to George Eaton, the political editor of New Statesman, who was down there uh, as it was all unfolding. George, what did you see? Yes, yeah, so I was um, watching this from the window um, by my um, desk in the, in the press gallery, and I saw um, a large crowd fleeing the attacker, who appeared to be carrying a knife, uh, fleeing him from, from, from close to the tube station. He then entered the gates of Parliament, um, charged at officers, um, and we now know that one of them was, was sadly stabbed. And um, he was then very swiftly shot by armed police. What can you see out of your window now? What's happening? Um, there are two ambulances inside, um, inside Parliament. Um, so the officer will be receiving medical attention. And then Westminster is in lockdown. Um, ministers have been evacuated and journalists ordered to remain um, at their desks. Um, and the traffic has obviously been stopped as well. What do we know of the Prime Minister's movements? We, we understand that he was inside the building at the time. Yes, I don't know. Um, I don't know where. where, where and I just heard Theresa May was in, in the division lobby, I think, at the time, and um, I presume has been has been evacuated. Though, although I don't know exactly where she is now. What information have you been given inside? We've been given very little information, to be honest. Um, an officer came in and um, ordered all journalists. To, uh, to remain at their desks. Um, I think we're all just um, grateful that the incident was obviously uh, resolved as, as swiftly as it was. It was, it was quite um, a terrifying experience, obviously witnessing it all from, um, from our windows. We are hearing that there are a number of, of armed officers inside Parliament. Have you, have you seen these people? No, I haven't. No, I've, I've um, been, at, been obviously at my desk the whole time, so um, I've only seen um, what I described earlier. Okay. George, for the time being, thanks very much. Thank you.